so you're wondering whether or not prestiging in Killing Floor 2 is worth it. In this video we'll look at how prestige works in Killing Floor 2 and the rewards you can get for it, the reasons you may not want to prestige, and finally we'll take a look at all the different prestige skins you can get for each perk. Hey guys, this is Chris with BNB Gaming. Welcome back and I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you guys all for your likes, your shares, your comments, all your support. Definitely appreciate it. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in Killing Floor 2 and hopefully Killing Floor 3 one day, all the new content coming out, hit that subscribe button for more. Now to start out with guys, what exactly happens when you prestige in Killing Floor 2? The big thing that happens is your perk is reset back to zero. Unlike some games that give you an unlimited leveling up feature, Killing Floor 2 actually resets you back to zero. Now that doesn't sound like a big deal, but in Killing Floor 2, your perk level makes a significant difference in how much damage you do and how much damage you take. Along with that, you also unlock five different skills on your perk tree as you level up, which make a significant difference in your lethality and your survivability. As far as the rewards go, what you get when you reset your perk, first of all, you get a new prestige icon, you get a prestige weapon skin. You also get 4 million Vosh, which means you get 4 vault crates or 4 cosmetics. You also get a permanent XP buff for the perk that you're prestiging. Now Killing Floor 2 has 5 prestige levels for all 10 perks. For a total of 50 prestige levels you can work your way through. And you might be wondering what about a prestige 6 or even prestige 7 are they going to ever add it in Killing Floor 2? Now Tripwire itself has never commented whether or not they're going to have more prestige levels. However, it has been two years since Prestige 5 came out. So I think it's safe to say Prestige 5 is max prestige for Killing Floor 2. And you might be wondering why don't they just add more prestige levels. My guess would be that the game wasn't designed for it. The original prestige icons that you're seeing right now were released back in 2016 when the game itself was released. So I believe that Killing Floor 2 was built for 5 prestige levels when it was created. And at this point in Killing Floor 2's life cycle, I'm guessing they don't want to go back and rebuild it just so they can add a couple prestige levels. As far as what rewards you get with each prestige level, at prestige rank 1, you get a prestige 1 icon for the perk you're prestiging. You also get a prestige weapon skin for that perk's knife. You again get the 4 million Vosh or 4 vault crates. And at prestige 1, you get an XP bonus of 30%, so 130% per kill. At prestige rank 2, you get the prestige 2 icon. You get a prestige weapon skin tier 1, which is the starting weapon for whatever perk you're prestiging. Again, you get the 4 vault crates. And at prestige rank 2, the XP bonus is increased to 35%. With Prestige Rank 3, you get the Prestige 3 icon. You get a Prestige 2 weapon skin for your perk. You again get the 4 vault crates. And your XP bonus is increased to 40%. With Prestige Rank 4, you get the Prestige Rank 4 icon. You get a Tier 3 weapon skin. You again get the 4 vault crates. And your XP bonus is increased to 45%. Finally, with Prestige Rank 5, you get the Prestige 5 icon. You get a tier 4 prestige weapon skin, again you get the 4 vault crates, and your XP bonus is increased to 50%. Now you might be wondering, does your prestige XP bonus work with double XP events? Yes it does. So at prestige 5, instead of getting 150% XP, you'll be getting 300 XP per kill. Now I'm sure all this sounds great, but there are some occasions where you may not want to prestige. The first reason is, you may have to drop down in difficulty, and you may not like the decrease in performance you're going to experience, at least at first. The second reason you may not want to prestige is if you're still doing the weekly outbreaks. So if you're trying to complete the weekly outbreaks for the first time in order to unlock the cosmetic rewards, personally I suggest waiting to prestige. The reason why is certain weeklies, like Boom for example, are much easier with certain perks. In the case of Boom, Demolitionist is really powerful because of the explosive resistance and the increased damage they do. 
As far as whether or not prestige is worth it, in my opinion, it is. Because in Killing Floor 2, your level and your skills that you unlock at level 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 make a significant difference in your playstyle and sometimes even the weapons you use. So I found it to be exciting to build my perk back up again and I found it rewarding unlocking those abilities again at 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 and just being able to tear things up because you're that much more powerful. Now if you're unsure whether or not you'd enjoy the process of re-leveling your perk, one option is wait till a double XP event and then prestige one perk to see if you enjoy it. The double XP will definitely help you level up a lot faster and get you back up to level 25 in no time. Now as far as the strategy I use to prestige all 10 of my perks to prestige 5 and still enjoy the game, first of all I only prestiged 3 or 4 perks at one time and I kept all my other perks at level 25 in order to do the weekly outbreaks with those 3 to 4 perks I prestige, I would switch between them once they unlock the new skill, so at level 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, in order to keep variety in the gameplay. It's not a hard and fast rule, sometimes I would keep playing till level 10, or keep playing until level 15, and then I would swap out to a different perk in order to keep variety in the gameplay. Now finally what I did for level 20 to 25, which can be really really grindy, was I waited for double XP events. I found that this made going from 20 to 25 a lot easier and took a lot of the grind out of the experience. Now as far as what rewards you can get for each perk, let's start with Berserker. At Prestige 1 you get the Berserker Knife, Prestige 2 you get the Krovel, at Prestige 3 you get the Katana, at Prestige 4 you get the Pulverizer, and at Prestige 5 you get the Eviscerator. For Commando, at Prestige 1 you get the KF Bar Commando Knife, at Prestige 2 you get the AR-15, at Prestige 3 you get the L85A2 Bullpup, at Prestige 4 you get the AK-12, and finally at Prestige 5 you get the Scar H. For Support, at Prestige 1 you get the Support Knife, at Prestige 2 you get the SG-500, at Prestige 3 you get the Boomstick, at Prestige 4 you get the M4, and at Prestige 5 you get the AA-12. For Field Medic, at Prestige 1 you get the HM Tech 001 Scalpel, at Prestige 2 you get the HM Tech 101 Pistol, at Prestige 3 you get the HM Tech 201 SMG, at Prestige 4, you get the HM Tech 301 Shotgun, and at Prestige 5, you get the HM Tech 401 Assault Rifle. For Demolitionist, at Prestige 1, you get the Demo Knife. At Prestige 2, you get the HX-25 Grenade Pistol. At Prestige 2, you get the M79 China Lake. At Prestige 4, you get the M16 with the M203 Grenade Launcher. And finally, at Prestige 5, you get the RPG-7. For Firebug, at Prestige 1 you get the Fireman's Knife, at Prestige 2 you get the Cock and Burn, at Prestige 3 you get the Dragon's Breath, at Prestige 4 you get the Flamethrower, and at Prestige 5 you get the Microwave Gun. For Gunslinger, at Prestige 1 you get the Gunslinger's Knife, at Prestige 2 you get the 1858 Revolvers, at Prestige 3 you get the M1911s, at Prestige 4 you get the Desert Eagles, and at Prestige 5 you get the 500 Magnums. For Sharpshooter, at Prestige 1 you get the Kukri, at Prestige 2 you get the Winchester 1894, at Prestige 3 you get the Crossbow, at Prestige 4 you get the M14 EBR, and at Prestige 5 you get the Railgun. For SWAT, at Prestige 1 you get the Tactical Knife, at Prestige 2 you get the MP7, at Prestige 3 you get the MP5 RAS, at Prestige 4 you get the Heckler & Coke UMP, and finally at Prestige 5 you get the Chris SMG. And finally for Survivalist, at Prestige 1 you get the Gore Shiv, at Prestige 2 you get the Tommy Gun, at Prestige 3 you get the Vlad 1000 Nail Gun, at Prestige 4 you get the Freeze Thrower, and finally at Prestige 5 you get the Killer Watt. 